Hey all, welcome back to Somi's Try and Chat. In today's episode, we will explore Gandhi's next step in life, that is how he went to South Africa, for what reason. And we will also learn just before going what happened in his state of mind. Stay tuned. Yesterday we saw that one of his, one of the officers, that's British officers that Gandhi went to talk about regarding his brother's uh, case, he had, he got, he had gotten insulted and it had put a very big imprint on Gandhi's mind in terms of utilizing influence because he thought because he knew that officer in UK he could use his influence to talk about his brother's case however that was not the case and in next chapter Gandhi does bring this topic again where he says that the officer had patience issues so he was not very patient when he was talking to people and according to Gandhi's thinking, the mistake Gandhi had made versus the officer's uh, reaction was way out of proportion to the type of mistake Gandhi had made. And that did not sit well with him. However, Gandhi had ended up working for the same officer, British officer. And this was not very satisfying for Gandhi. It was not going well with him as he had already put up with some issues before. Therefore, he was thinking of moving to other place or changing his work scenario. Around the same time, he got a message or his brother got a message. The case had been going on for a very long time and they had engaged many of the best wakils and barristers from from South Africa and from India for a long time and they needed people that uh, who had law as a background and this came to Gandhi as well this proposition came to Gandhi and uh, Gandhi because he was not really happy with where he was he was tempted to move at that point and this is when he started thinking of moving to South Africa as this job offer was situated in that location. Along with the officer issue while Gandhi was in India there was another issue that was bothering him a lot that was in today's world it is called giving um, law paying under the table right even at that time with all the uh, kings and princes that were ruling India, they had to still obey British uh, orders. And not only kings and princes, but also other people who were under the hierarchy, they were also be to be cajoled. According to Gandhi, everybody expected something to get the work done. And it is very unfortunate even to in today's world we are still the same in any administrative work we have to get done nobody moves an inch unless you pay them something and this was more than 100 years ago and still we can very well relate to the state of affairs 
or how it was at that time compared to how it is in today's world gandhi was all set to leave to south africa that is natal in south africa and the pain at this this time for leaving india was his family that is his wife and children as he had his mother was no more at this point and uh, their married life although he doesn't talk a lot only in this episode he does bring up saying he was working with his wife to still reform her and their love was still bound by lust to some point it was not as pure love as he is envisioning it at this point in time the journey on the ship was a memorable one for gandhi because the captain liked gandhi and he invited him to go out with another english friend gandhi was innocent he didn't know what it meant and he went out with them when they were um, halting in some place between india and the final destination in south africa on the ship and they went to some i'll quote it negro women's quarters by a tout and gandhi does not like this experience he feels ashamed he feels horrified and also sense of uh, shame because he couldn't even say no beforehand and he thanks god for allowing him to come out of that situation without having any impact on anyone so this episode and he says increased his faith in god because because of god he was able to come out of the situation without unscathed because he was not as courageous he could have taken credit if he had any courage to come out without having any impact on anyone therefore although there was no trouble caused now let's move to listeners what was one of the situations in your life that increased faith in god or in universe or in yourself and how did that shape your thinking reflect on this and we will continue about gandhi in the next episode bye bye